Well, greetings all. Boy, oh boy, I tell you. Uh, I, I complained a while back about all the things that were breaking around here. Well, hadn't stopped yet, I swear. Whew. You know, the gate blows. Okay, and I have to rebuild the gate. Well, then I, I get COVID, of course, before I can even get out and start to repair the gate. Well, then the hurricane moves in. Uh, <laughs> of course, the power lines go down for uh, uh, two days. Uh, they're still down in some places. They went back up here in Mountain View um, yesterday morning sometime. But they are still down. There's some people so uh, heading three, four days now without any electricity. Anyway, the uh, outage was so long on the grid that we did exhaust the battery in the house. The Tesla power wall went down. Uh, and I, I, I don't always understand this stuff. We had a limit set on it at 16%. Can't go below that. Well, it went to 8%. I don't know why it did that. I have no idea. Uh, but it did, and it, when it hit 8%, it shut down completely. And unfortunately, when they put the wire back and the sun came back, it wouldn't start back up. Yeah, once it hit that low point, it went into what is called standby mode on Tesla. And apparently, this was experienced on Maui recently with some power failures over there. Uh, solar company tells me yeah and so this is a, a problem <laughs> because once it goes into standby mode getting it to go back out of standby mode isn't as simple as pressing a button or something no um yeah it's 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 not easy and well i i called uh, provision those are the guys that installed this system um and uh well i don't know them guys uh, there was a point in time when uh, provision was doing all the commercial and uh, government installations on the island and uh, they were top star rating better business bureau and so on but a few years ago something happened internally over here i i don't know i know that most of the employees that had installed my system left the company at some point um yeah and so i've been trying to get provision over here now for months and months and months to even give me a quote on installing a second battery and more panels I haven't done it. I've jogged them a couple of times even by email, by phone, nothing. I, I can get them out here to service warranties. That When I've had optimizers go down on the panels, they've been pretty good about getting out here and doing that. Well, I called them uh, about the, the, the standby mode on this thing, and they said, oh, yeah, okay. Well, we're really busy right now. It'll take about four or five days, but somebody will call you back uh, and set up an appointment. I'm going, you've got to be kidding me. The system's down four or five days before I get a call? I said, isn't there anything that you can tell me that I can do? Well, you could flip the switch. And that was the end of the conversation. I said, yeah, well, put me on the calendar. I walked away. Well, what I did about it is in the meantime i had given up on provision except for warranty work which they will owe me for quite a while and i had made the decision to go with uh, katie burgess who has her own company now she's the one who originally worked for provision uh, and uh, i'm having her and her people draw me up uh, a second power wall and more panels on the roof and another ev charger and uh, they already have the quotes done i saw them in the email this morning i said yeah rock and roll go for it and uh, whatnot well she also addressed my issue for me on the standby mode in tesla uh, with far more detail and comprehension than provision ever did and um, so with her instructions which were pretty close to the ones that are on tesla's uh, site although I, I found hers easier to follow mm -hmm. yeah 
anyway um, I went through followed her instructions and yes I got the standby mode to come off and it started charging again well I was oh man finally I'm going yes the gates working there's no more hurricane coming the system is charging I'm so happy I'm gonna spend the day doing nothing I'm so tired of problems yeah I about had it with all of this there's nothing I could do about it you know well anyway so I followed Katie's instructions and uh, went ahead and 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 cycled the uh, the battery here and well it took it a while but in about five minutes or so it actually began charging again came off standby mode uh, I was very pleased especially with Katie Burgess as compared to ProVision Solar who did not give me instructions to do this and wanted me to wait five days for their guy to come out here <sighs> yeah but done with them guys anyhow um, well, the procedure, if there's anybody out there who during this power failure uh, ended up with their Tesla power wall at the bottom and won't come back on again, you, it will say standby mode on your app. Well, what you got to do, <laughs> yeah, you got to go inside the house and you got to shut off almost everything. Now, you can't shut down the modem because the internet has to remain on for the Tesla to work. Okay, so don't turn off the modem, but you can turn off everything else in the house um, and then come on out and on the side of your power wall, you got a switch. Now, some of them, they open up and there's a reset button. I guess it's the same basic idea. On mine, you use a switch to reset it. You just click the thing off. I wait until I can see the app tell me that, oh, the power wall's been disconnected. And when that signal comes up, I know it's talking. And so then I turn the switch back on. That was not exactly Katie's instructions either. She didn't say I was supposed to wait for the prompt to come on the app. But it seems that that's important. Yeah, you can't be moving any faster than the think and think, I guess. Anyhow, I, I did that. Uh, it took off. It started charging. Um, but then later on, I said, okay, I got this. I flipped all the switches in the house back on, turned everything else on, and went back to look at the app. And oops, went back to standby mode. So I repeated it. And when I came back out here, it was charging again, and we're, we're gaining juice in the battery. Uh, Hopefully it's going to keep going. This time I left everything in the house off until I can get a good headspace in that battery. Hopefully um, that's going to do it. We'll find out here uh, pretty soon. So anyway, if you're sitting out there and you're and you're running straight off the grid like I was, uh, give it a try. Shut everything off. Toggle the the, the battery off wait for the prompt when it comes up toggle the battery back on then it's going to take about another five minutes to get around through a cycle and hopefully if you're lucky it will start charging again uh, when it stopped i just repeated everything and it started up again so otherwise i'm feeling pretty good uh covid wise yeah i'm not bad again still some phlegm but other than the phlegm, I'm about back to normal now. It's pretty much over. And it's very sunny today. Although we have another hurricane coming. Hopefully I can get this whole problem with the, with the solar straightened out before the next one comes. This one isn't supposed to be so bad. And so we probably won't have uh, so much power failure. Well, provided that things are, so, are charging and everything's coming along over here, I think I'm going to wander down the street. I'm going to get myself a hoagie cheesesteak and some fries rather than turn on my stove and things in the house for a while. Um, uh, the uh, uh, Wyatt's down here, uh, his, his new Mountain View restaurant that we have, um, he makes one good sandwich. 
I would highly recommend stopping in and eating his sandwiches. Hey, hang loose, everybody. Aloha.